All right, so the screens went blank. I assume it's restarting. I didn't think you were supposed to be able to drive during a software update, so that was interesting. What's going on everybody? We're getting a software update to the latest 2019.16. Maybe I shouldn't have started it before work, but I was excited, so whatever. <laughs> um, the car's making a bunch of noises uh, while it's updating. Um, so I'll let that finish up and then we'll get some footage of the new features. So the ones I'm excited about are the new animation for the car. Uh, so it'll actually be bigger when you're going slower. You can see more cars in your blind spot. It makes it easier uh, to see that and the software update. So in the settings, you can set uh, your software update preference. You can be advanced, so you can get the software update as soon as it's available, or you can be, I think it's normal is the other one, um, where you'll get the update eventually. In my opinion, this probably isn't doing much. It's probably just so us people who are obsessed with software updates feel like we're gonna get them sooner and maybe uh, not bug Tesla so much, um, but we'll see. So during the update, it still says update in progress. Got a scary little message over here, software update required, but we're in the middle of one, so that makes sense. Uh, I also cannot unhook the charging cable while the update's happening. All right, so this is a little strange. Uh, we seem to be kind of stuck here with this message. I'm able to drive, um, but I can't use the screen. It says cruise not available. Uh, I can't really do anything, so uh, I don't know, that's pretty weird. Alright, so the screens went blank. I assume it's restarting. I uh, was trying to restart myself by holding both scroll wheels, but it wasn't working. Alright, the screen has come back on. We got update complete. You can see the new animation here. Because I'm not going too fast, uh, you can see the zoomed in animation. It looks really nice. Um, I didn't think you were supposed to be able to drive during a software update, so that was interesting. But uh, lesson learned, don't do your software updates before you gotta leave for work. <laughs> I just wanna look at the release notes really quick. So driving visualization is what we're gonna see over here. Sentry mode, uh, this is pretty nice. So now you have a button you can see right here. Rather than having to go into all the menus and turn it on, I can just click that and it'll be activated, so. There it is, it's on, but I'm gonna be driving, so we'll turn it off. So lane departure avoidance is a uh, more advanced kind of lane departure warning now. It's kind of part of autopilot, but with this now, the car's gonna warn you by vibrating the wheel, which it already did, uh, and giving you a beep to let you know that you're going to leave the lane. And the car will actually assist you using this feature, so this is just like autopilot, except if you go, you'll go over the line, and then the car will kind of correct you. Software update preference, which we talked about before, uh, and then Swedish language. Um, so we can look at the software update preference really quick. So standard or advanced. So I definitely want advanced. Again, I don't think this is really doing much, but that's cool. I like to have the option. Really nice transition into drive here. This looks really good. I'm really happy with this. I'm excited to see this on the highway it'll be easier to see people in my blind spot with this view. Sentry mode will always be turned on if you want, whenever you go into park. But of course, I don't want it at home, so I can make it so that when I'm home, it, it won't activate sentry mode, it won't fill up your uh, flash drive. I do like it at work, and then I guess you can make favorites too. Um, so a family member's house or something, you can turn it off there. You can see wall in drive, I need some windshield wiper fluid, that's why that's there. But you can see while I'm in drive, um, the sentry mode button is not available. So we got a clear road up here. I'll drift to the left and see if it'll correct me. Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay, so in the autopilot settings, emergency lane departure avoidance wasn't active. So I'm gonna turn it on. So that was my bad sure why it's so zoomed out right here. We're going slower. That was weird. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing too much consistency in this animation. It seems to zoom in and out kind of randomly. Because at this point I feel like we should be a lot closer since the car's not really moving. We'll put it in park. So now it's above. Go back into drive. 
farther out. Maybe it has to do with the surrounding cars. Since it's detecting cars around, it's kind of pulled out so I can see everybody around me. That would make sense. So we do have navigate on autopilot enabled, auto lane changes. The car should be doing everything for us here. letting us in the car hesitated so that's still a little bit annoying it doesn't always do that but sometimes the hesitation is just uh, too much not getting any uh, nag on the autopilot I pretty much always just keep my hand um, resting on the left side of the wheel kind of like this but just in the bottom left corner and the car never bothers me uh, it never has a problem with, with uh, my hands not being on the wheel it always detects them Alright, so auto changing out of the passing lane. That was perfect. So I've heard the nag uh, where the car bugs you to put your hand back on the wheel has gotten worse with this update. So I'm going to let off the wheel. I'll show you right now and we can see how long it takes. Whatever. I don't know. I wouldn't get my hands off the wheel this long, so it doesn't seem that bad to me. <laughs> I mean, I could keep waiting, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe they turn the nag off. We're hands-free now. There it is. All right. I don't know. That was a long time for me. I don't think I'd take my hands off that long, so seems fine. All right, so I just got this message. Navigate on autopilot currently unavailable. And I thought it was because the rain just started picking up, but it says features may be available on next drive. So that's not an issue with the weather. It'll say poor weather detected. Uh, it's something with the cameras or the sensors. Uh, probably something about the update has made it a little weird. It'll come back might come back in a few seconds, might just come back on my next drive. And there it is. <laughs> so just something to look out for. Uh, I usually will do a reset after every update. I find that it seems to help kind of mitigate any of those kind of issues. And I didn't do it this time because I started driving before the update was even done. But once I uh, get where I'm going, I'll, I'll reset the car uh, before I go in. Just for fun, we can see if we can handle this right turn. It's never done this before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. That was so perfect. Cool. It's never, ever done that. It's always freaked out right there. I do kind of try to push the limits of autopilot, test it out, see what it can do. That was really good. Again, there's no way to know if it is due to the update unless I you know, try it a few times. Yeah, that was new, at least. And then when I put the car in park, you can see sentry mode is enabled. That was automatic. I didn't click anything. It just turned it on because in the settings, I have it set to always turn on when I park. So now if we go to an open spot over here, you can see my headlights are on. You can see those in the front of the car. Another Model 3 here. The car is actually picking up the parking spaces. So I don't know how easy that is to see, but it never did that before. And... People are thinking that the reason it's able to do this in the parking lots now is for advanced summon, which is hopefully coming soon. Uh, oh, actually autopilot was available there for a second. Um, which hopefully will be coming out soon, and that'll allow you to summon your car from up to 160 feet away. Let's go forward again. So we just turned autopilot on in the parking lot. I wonder what's going to happen. The car's stopping. I'm not doing anything. The car stopped right there. I don't know if it's because that van is there or... Wow, that's pretty 
wild. <laughs> Autopilot in the parking lot. All right. We should try going the other way. Actually, I just noticed somebody's in that van. He probably thinks I'm nuts. We tried going the other way here. I'm wondering if the car will stop without a car in front of it. Okay, so autopilot is on in the parking lot. Oh, the car's just gonna fly right into that. <laughs> into that ledge, that's pretty funny. So as I'm turning, the animation of the car is turning. Wow, the car picks up the lane lines right away. It seems better at detecting the lane lines in this update. It's a pretty interesting view here because before autopilot was always kind of the top down, more zoomed out, and now you get kind of a different perspective of the cars around you. And you can see as these cars came up on my left, we zoomed out a little bit to kind of help me see those. If you don't want sentry mode to be enabled on park, you can make a place a favorite and then sentry mode won't be enabled there. So sentry mode is on right now. Let's test it. I'm just going to pick this random spot here. I'm going to make it a favorite. That's fine. There we go. So sentry mode's still on. It didn't turn itself off. I'm going to just drive over there a little bit and park and see if sentry mode turns on or not. Alright, so we're parking here. And you can see sentry mode did not turn on because we're near my favorite place. If I want, now it's on. And that's not a favorite. Goodbye. So in the parking lot here, I'm able to turn on autopilot. I don't think you could do that before. Let's see. Yeah, now it's not moving because I have this car in front of me. I could see that getting some people in trouble. <laughs> Man, this view is so interesting. It's just a different perspective. When you're zoomed in this close to the car, you see your turn signal going off, you see your brake lights are on, and you can see these other cars so close uh, and at a different angle than you used to be able to see them. All right, so we'll use a little more Navigate on Autopilot, see how it's doing in this latest update. Whenever you get a software update, there are chances that the neural net, which is kind of the way the computer interprets the world around it, kind of how sophisticated it is. There's a chance that it gets an update. Another improvement I'm noticing with 2019.16 is lane changes. Uh, had a little issue before where if you, you start a lane change, you'll see I hit the turn signal. Perfect, it just gets over. Well, before it would kind of slow down sometimes a little bit, like maybe you drop one or two miles per hour, which was especially annoying when somebody's kind of like behind you in the lane you're getting into. Um, but I haven't had to do that one time yet on this update, so that's good because that was really annoying. All right, I've got adaptive cruise control on. I'm steering. I'm just going to try out the emergency lane keeping again. So we're veering off, and the car just corrects itself like that. All right, so if we drift into the other lane, take control immediately. You got it. So that's pretty good. If I intentionally go over the line, say some, there's something I need to avoid in the road here, I just do that, I avoided it, the car did nothing. It didn't try to turn the wheel, didn't give me any warnings. So we can tell the difference between you intentionally avoiding a jogger, thank you sir for that great demonstration, and uh, just actually drifting out of the lane. See, I'm not holding anything, and now the car corrects. It knows I wasn't, it thinks I wasn't doing that on purpose because it was more of a drifting rather than an intentional uh, twisting of the wheel. All right, and what would a dirty Tesla video be without some dirt roads? We're going to see if autopilot will work here. So you can see it's guessing at some lines, and I'm actually kind of curious about the lane keeping. If it thinks that there's a line here, right, um, and I'm drifting over it even though I'm not, is it going to correct me or not? That's unfortunate. I wasn't able to get autopilot to activate on any dirt roads today, even though on previous software versions it's worked. Um, but that's all right. It's not really supposed to work. <laughs> it is kind of picking up my driveway, though, so that's good. We can see if the auto door opening works in reverse, but I'm sure that hasn't been fixed. No, of course not. I'm home. I'm going to put the car in park. Nice animation. And then you can see sentry mode is not activated 
because I told it not to turn on at home. So that's working. That's nice. So 2019.16 is working really well. Love the animation. It makes it a lot easier to see the cars in your blind spots. Now I'll always have sentry mode activated when I park. I usually forgot to turn it on most of the time and you can turn it on from the phone, but it's nice to just have it automatic. And the new safety features are awesome. I mean, I already use autopilot most of the time anyway, um, but if I don't have it activated and you, I mean, you never know, you can get distracted by anything. The car can give you a warning and nudge you back into your lane, which makes the car safer. So it's really nice that just a uh, update for free that I got while my car was sitting in my garage made my car safer than it used to be. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.